Get your brain in gear and prepare for the best puzzle games to play in 2021. All right, an obstacle course. Glad you like it. A lot of it was made by Rose. She doesn't make it easy. Puzzle games come in all shapes and sizes and never just stick to one genre. Because when you think about it, anything can be a puzzle. Finding your keys without using a tracking device. Hunting down where you hid all the forks when you were sleepwalking. Well, you get the gist. This means that the best puzzle games to play in 2021 are a brilliant mixed bag, all working together to give your grey matter a bit of a test. Speaking of a test, have you clicked the subscribe button? Congratulations! Your first puzzle has been solved. Let's get on with the rest. We warn you though, they probably won't be as easy. Let's kick off with a really good one. It's kind of right there in the title, but for It Takes Two, you're going to need to grab a friend to experience this joyful and heartfelt puzzly adventure. Welcome to your first couples challenge! Win or lose, you must do it together! But the good news is that to join arguing couple Cody and May on their journey to try and undo being turned into dolls, only one of you needs to own the game. And no, not creepy dolls, before you worry. Nice one! But using Hazelight's Friends Pass, you can buy the game and send an invite to a friend to join in one of our favorite two-player experiences of recent years. This is the kind of game that makes you feel like it shouldn't be possible to crown this much imagination in. Every section offers up new and fresh powers, and nothing ever gets repetitive as you explore the rich, handcrafted world. And yes, it'll also get you right in the field. It's a good thing you have a friend with you, really. But there are more things to learn and new challenges to overcome. Let's keep on going. We got a relationship to fix. We included Doth Romantic in our recent most relaxing games list, but that doesn't mean that it's not puzzly enough to add here too. It's not the snappiest name, but don't let that put you off. Doth Romantic is all about placing tiles of rivers, trees, trains, and towns to meet certain criteria. Sometimes you'll need to hit exact numbers, and other times you'll be able to grow your creations even more, but it's all wrapped in a delightfully simple and peaceful rotatum up. Watching each little area grow is so satisfying, and there's just enough challenge to keep you entertained as you earn more and more tiles. Add in beautiful colors and relaxing music, and this is the kind of puzzler you can do while listening to a podcast or just to escape from the stress of everyday life. Your brain will thank you. If you've spent years playing Picross on various Nintendo handheld devices over the years, then Murder by Numbers will be right up your carefully numbered grid of a street. From Mediatonic, this is a combination of those puzzles known to the rest of the world as nonograms, yes, yes, grams, am I right? And a Phoenix Wright style investigation. Here, you befriend a robot called Scout and solve a series of murders all while blocking out puzzles and challenging your brain. It's the equivalent of doing nonograms at the same time as watching a really funny crime drama, so why would you not want to make those a delightful interactive cocktail? The nice thing too is that everything is so well written that you never feel like there's too much puzzling or too much chat. Just a perfect combo of gentle Sunday afternoon activities. If Doff Romantic appeals to you because it's a bit like constructing your own jigsaw puzzle, you're definitely going to enjoy Kato and its math-based mind melting. Kato, as you might expect from her name, has a very special geography-flavored power. Moving around squares on your map screen allows her to explore further across the world to meet even more weird and wonderful characters on a quest to find her way home. It starts off simply enough, but Kato gets enjoyably difficult as you traverse all kinds of new areas and rotate and flip terrains to reach new locations. Oh, and if it's not already clear, Kato is ludicrously charming, and one of our favorite puzzlers available entirely free on Xbox Game Pass on PC, so you should definitely give it a look if you're already subscribed. Or even if you aren't. <laughs> Hello 
Hello Games might be best known for No Man's Sky, but that doesn't mean it's not also capable of making delightful and poignant puzzle games too. In The Last Campfire, we play as Ember, who has become lost in a forest of similarly lost souls. Instead of just getting themselves out of trouble though, Ember makes it their mission to bring the fires back to those who feel like all is hopeless. Yes, it's just as heartwarming as that sounds. The forlorn are those who lost their way along the path. If you find them, send them to me and I will guide them. Each little character has a puzzle you must solve in order to bring their caged fire back so that they can feel alive again. And there are some beautifully designed brain teasers lurking. Whether you're moving statues or rolling concrete wheels, these are the kind of puzzles that deliver that also satisfying light bulb moment when you finally solve them. Or, you know, give up and check a guide. We see you. The stranger met Ember's eyes. The two shared a moment of silence. If you've spent the last few years far too jealous of everyone on mobile playing the latest Room game, it's time to get your brain in gear with the Room 4 Old Sins. Fireproof Games hasn't fully reinvented the key-filled wheel here, but if you have loved every puzzle box that has come before in the series, you're going to love this too. The Old Sins does have some tricks up its sleeves though. It's time to enter the Doll's House, a mysterious interactive toy with just as much menace and atmosphere as you'd expect from this series. As ever, you're armed with your trusty eyeglass in case you get stuck, and there are all kinds of intriguing levers to pull and buttons to press as you bring the house back to life. And, as ever with the room games, try not to think about that ominous feeling that you're definitely being watched. And finally, let's finish on a high note. A sky high note, in fact. In Rain On Your Parade, you play as a cloud full of raindrops, taking on a multitude of different watery missions. Perhaps you need to chase the kids of a school all the way along a corridor, do a science experiment, set presents on fire with toxic drops, or even recreate a cloud version of Metal Gear Solid. No, that's not one that you can play online, sorry. Rain on your parade is just the right balance of fun and stupid, and while water is your main weapon, there are all kinds of different substances to fill up with and ruin everyone's day. Each mission has a specific ludicrous to-do list, and while there's nothing too challenging about drenching humans, your goals are constantly mixed up to keep everything fun. And what a lot of fun it is. some of the best puzzle games to add to your teetering digital to play pile. Let us know your favorite brain teasers in the comments below, drop us a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to Logitech G for more best ofs just like this one. If you do already subscribe, ring that notification bell to make sure you never miss another feature. Simple, unlike some of the challenges here. Splatter. Nice collaboration!